Hey everybody, it's Andrea, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've done a colouring chat, there's been a lot going on and we'll talk about that in a bit. But we are going to carry on uh, colouring in Tenderful Enchantment by Clara Makova. I can find the picture we were doing, which is here. We were doing the puppy. We've done most of the puppy. So we're going to carry on with that now and do some more. We'll do the bells to start with. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you've been here before and you're returning, welcome back. It's nice to see you again. Um, oops, there goes the light. I'm <laughs> just getting my pencils in a place where I can reach them, but they're not going to get in my way. So I hope uh, you're all okay and that everybody's um, healthy and well and there's no issues. I'm okay, I'm not too bad. I've still got um, my blood pressure being monitored. So I've got to keep an eye on that. So yeah, today, I'm filming this on Tuesday, you'll be seeing this on Wednesday, and on Wednesday I will be going to get my blood pressure done. This is actually green gold um, in the, the Faber-Castell polychromos, which is what we're using in this particular book. And I need, I think, a fairly pale yellow. Be my favourite one that I use a lot, which is cadmium yellow as well. So so yeah, I hope you're all all right and you've all been keeping yourself safe. It's still a funny old world out there at the moment, so. You know, we've all got to be sensible and look after each other. Um, uh, who knows what's going to be happening next? Do you know what I mean? You know. So, yeah. Uh, we've been trying to sort some stuff out in the house. We've both had a few days off. Um... We got some shelving to put all our records on, which is great. So we're sorting that out. I bought some clothes, nothing exciting, it's just you know general slobbing around clothes. So we're nearly not going anywhere at the moment, let's be honest, are we? I'm not. I spend a lot of my time in the house or sorting, you know. Bits out for Jennifer, um, you know, taking her to nursery, so just stuff for that, really. I've misplaced my other camera again. I don't know where it's gone now. I'm always doing this. It's, it's hopeless, I tell you. It really, really is hopeless. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it really is hopeless. <laughs> you know what I mean? Trying to uh, get it all together. Uh, I just don't know where it's gone, so. I'm just trying to Keep up to date with everybody, been watching videos and stuff and seeing what's going on in colour tube and various other bits and pieces. You know what it's like. So much going on in the world and so much uh so many people making videos. I've been making TikTok as well. Um TikTok stuff is pretty much all it's all ca it's all camera stuff. I mean, I could have more than one TikTok account, I guess, and but at the moment, I think one is probably enough. So, 
So yeah, I've been trying to get some eBay done. I did book the three days off to do eBay, but Paul, he wanted to get stuff done. So I, I lost two days of that. And then I had this morning, uh, but I had an asthma attack, so I couldn't really do a lot with it because I was so poorly. Um, it makes me very tired. When I have an asthma attack and I just want to sleep, which is what happened this morning. I did do a bit, uh, but I did have to sleep for a couple of hours. And then I got up and I potted and I did a little bit. I didn't do as much as I wanted. But I did do a fair bit. I did some. So tomorrow I'll be listing the first five items that I got ready today. is great. So it would be nice to be doing some of that again I tell you. I haven't had a sale for ages so it's my own fault because I don't I don't actually do enough on there to justify sales. So got a few buddy colours to do so I've got one I'm nearly getting close to finishing and that's with John the the, the colouring by Moonlight was previously uh, the Bibliophile colourist. Um, yeah, so I'm doing one with him from The Beauty of Horror 5 by Alan Roberts. And I've got one to do with uh, Chelsea, which is the from Lulu Mayo. And another one from one of the current heavens with uh, Molly. So, yeah. enjoying doing them I am enjoying doing them, I'll admit that I am but uh, it's at the moment I'm concentrating on doing the one with John from Beauty of Horror because that's nearly finished it's not far off I did a good bit on it tonight excuse me sip in my lemonade Kind of fizzy lemonade here, and uh, to drink while I'm colouring. So yeah, I've been enjoying my colouring. I've done a few normal pictures with pencils. I'm, I'm doing a few with markers. I've done some pattern ones. I always do loads of patterns. I find them really relaxing, especially at bedtime. So, to be fair, I do like doing those. Okay. Noise going on outside. Kids again, expert. Kids are like noisy beggars. <laughs> See what I mean? Noisy blighters. These could just have easily been silver and probably would have more likely have been silver, but I'm doing all gold. I like this colour. <laughs> so, don't know how much we'll get done today, but we'll do a good few minutes. I always think it's going to be boring for you, especially if I've got nothing much to say. It's all been go here in Risker though, because... Um, I don't know what day it was last week. What day did we go up the pub? It was Saturday, so it would have been Friday. Friday night, or Friday morning, early, they found a body in the canal. Don't know anything about it other than it was somebody fell in the canal and died. Um, and it was a man. That's all I know. And 
Then they found a World War II bomb in the river. So we had the bomb squat out down by my mum and dad's. And then on Sunday when we got back from doing our shopping, there was a couple of police cars going up the street. Uh, they went up and turned around and came back down pretty much. I don't think there was anything for them to, to worry about up here, so. Which is good. So it's a bit odd, but there you go. Jennifer goes to um, school two day, two hours. Well, it will be two hours a day from Monday. Although at the moment it's an hour. And she's really enjoying it. She loves it. She, oops, I've lost the pencil. It's gone under the, yeah. Um, she said she had a lot of fun today, which is good. It makes me happy to know she's having fun. And that she's enjoying herself. Uh, at uh, the school but she's just not eating food properly at nursery now and I'm, th I'm thinking it's because a lot of the other kids are aged they, they take pat lunches but with Jan she's so fussy I don't know what to put in a pat lunch because she <sighs> if she knows what somebody else is having so for instance we were over at my next door neighbour's dresses and her daughter Sienna wanted a jam sandwich so she made one for Jennifer and Jennifer ate it. We made her a jam sandwich. She didn't want to know. Did not want to know. So it seems to be she'll eat what other people are eating. <laughs> so I'm going to have to try and get some ham or something. Try and make her a sandwich. Put it in her box. Because she has got a lunch box. Just, she'll eat bits of cucumber and, and stuff. But I mean... It is trying to find her something to eat that she'll actually eat and not just go, oh, I don't want that. So, what else, yeah, what else do you give a kid like that that's fussy as hell? And she is very fussy. Somebody's having a good swear out there tonight. Don't know who it is. Don't much care. Trying to sort, I've been sorting out the cameras. I photographed some cameras and some clothing to list. So I'll probably do that when I've, I'll get it drafted when I've done this so I can put it up tomorrow. And I've got some clothing I need to measure, but I'm going to start doing that tomorrow night. Um, get as much as I can measured tomorrow night. The idea being that I can do that on nights I'm not filming, and then on nights I'm filming, I won't touch it, I'll just put stuff live. people outside this time, like kids outside at this time. It's not that late, it's probably about half eight. I don't actually know what time it is. Because my phone's over on the um, bedside table on charge. So I don't actually know what time it is. So... Yeah, it's weird. I should know what the time is. But I don't. Well, 
else have we been doing? Just trying to think. I said we went out on on Saturday we took Jennifer foot down the park for a bit and her friend Quinn was there. So that was nice. So they were playing. And uh, then we came back and we went up to the pub for a drink. Took her up there. She likes the pub, so she likes um the bar manager Richard. He's he's such a nice guy. And uh yeah, he's, he's, he's a nice guy, his family's nice. So yeah, went up there, had a nice drink. They went to look at the ducks. Because I'm such a slow drinker, I said to Paul, you go and have a look at the ducks with Jen when I finish this one and I'll get you another one in a minute. So. But yeah, it was nice. Normally go to my mum's on a Tuesday and have lunch with my mum and dad, but Jen didn't want to go today. So I just brought her straight home. I'm hoping she might want to go tomorrow to see them. Because uh, I like to see my mum and dad. You know, do anything, if they need anything doing. Usually they're fine, so... I have heard they're talking about giving a third dose of the vaccine to over 50s and people with health conditions. So I would more than likely fall into that spot, having asthma. That, uh... okay. Big shout out to Chelsea Murray, Chelsea Jade Murray, Carolyn, Carolyn. Hope you're feeling better, kid. I enjoyed her colouring chat, or colouring whinge is what she calls it, a colouring whinge. I always enjoy her videos, they're really good, you know, and she, she's a really good colourist, so she's good fun to watch. She has got three million books like I have, so she'll probably, she'll probably clear a couple of her books before I even get near to clearing any of mine. <laughs> I gotta stop by a but I can't help myself. I have got another voucher from work to use, but I haven't used it yet, so I'm trying not to. I know, I'm trying not to, but I mean I'll have to use it at some point. I mean I had to but like I said I had to buy clothes this weekend for me to actually have something to wear to go out of the house. Because everything else had holes in it. So anything I want from me um Amazon now I do actually have to. Uh use that voucher so put it on in a bit but at the moment I'm trying to be good there are books I want there's various bits and pieces I want there's the, the new Deborah Muller ones there's a few others I would like where's that sticking on I was sticking on a camera stop sorry I got so much stuff on my desk and I, this is me trying to clear it out and I'll just pull it back like that so you can see these ones oh dear me I don't know what's wrong with me, I tell you. So, I am still reading a lot. I finished my uh, Goodreads challenge. I've got, to, I've got to start tackling the top of the cupboards. Well, the top of the, the bookcases. I've got a load stacked up on there. And I've got to try and clear some of them because I actually need that space to put um, my diaries on so that I can clear space for more colouring books. It will happen, and they're not books I'm going to keep, they're just books I'm going to read and um, donate or give them to somebody else. So I don't think there's actually anything up there I'm going to keep. There might be one or two, but not much. So I just need to have a look and uh, start. Oh! There goes the pencil I'm using. I'll have to go and get that in a minute. What an idiot I am. I think I'll do something else while that's down there and I'll get it later and finish it in the next video or off camera. Because I'm not good, because I have to switch the camera off to move the camera and I, I, I just don't want to. There's only one, two bells I haven't done, so I'll get the greens out and do these next. It's like, and what you doing? Bloody stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> right. Oh. 
it will be a haul this month. I've already got two, uh, what are they called? Uh, Ava Browns, two Ava Brown books, and um, yeah, two Ava Brown books, and a couple of others. Two Jade Summer books because two they bought out two um, Halloween ones. I haven't done flip throughs. If you want flip throughs, just let me know and I'll pop them up. I just haven't done them. Just let me know if you do want me to do them, and I, I can do it. I just haven't bothered. It's hard enough getting them. I mean, like Jay, like. Chelsea says getting the motivation to film I love filming I love colouring for you I love chatting to you but same as here with her mental health mine can get pretty bad and for the majority of time I'm just I'm holding it together uh, for Jennifer and making sure she's safe and well because she's my priority but I, I do get the point where I've got no motivation to do anything so what little motivation I do get I make sure it goes where it's um desperately needed which is for Jennifer to have she needs it more than I do she's my priority and then any other thing is left for me to look after myself which I probably don't do enough of to be fair I'm not kind enough to myself so I need to, to be kinder I you know but I mean like somebody said if I'm if I'm not happy and I'm not taken care of how can I take care of anybody else and it is true but I also I need to make sure that Jennifer's safe and uh, happy and she is so that's it but then I'm so tired I, I don't want to do the things that I enjoy which is this I love making videos and I love the colouring and talking to you and showing you new books um i still might do them i, I think part of it is i want to get coloring in it as well i want to really color in those books i might even film one of them after i've filmed this if it's not too late i'll have to see because uh sadly i have to go back to work tomorrow i check my annual leave see what i've got left and then if i've got any out and i'll book a few more days I've got itchy ear today. I don't know why. Ow. Ow. So like I said, I don't watch a lot of TV. Um, I haven't watched anything on Netflix. Since we watched The Imitation Game. I want to. There's lots of stuff on there I want to watch. It's just, again, it's having time. We're both kind of tired in the, at night, so we don't really watch much. I mean, last night we did watch, what was it, Only Connect, which is a UK sort of game show. We have to connect things, obviously. Um, I like that. It's very weird. It's quite highbrow. It's quite difficult. So I, I get quite excited if I actually get anything right. It's not very often, I can tell you. It's not very often. Um, but I do try. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we're at 24 minutes already. We're nowhere near done. It doesn't matter because there's still plenty to do on here, isn't there? Let's be honest. They look almost the same colour. There's permanent green and leaf green and they, to my eyes you can barely see a difference in the colour. There is, but very little. I use a different one now, just because I think I need a different one. Whew. Mm -mm -mm. So we have a new um, tennis champion won the US uh, Open Tennis Championship. British champion, hasn't, we haven't had a British champion 
at that for like 50 odd years if not longer I, I'm not sure I'm not a big tennis fan but amazing she's a 19 bless her so now uh, her life is going to change considerably because of winning that it's a good thing Let's see how she gets on for the rest of them and Maybe we'll have a ladies Wimbledon champion before long as well, which would be very nice. Never dropped a, a game, never dropped a set. Absolutely amazing. Strange to think when uh, I'm out. Just start drinking diet lemonade. So yeah, like I said, I've got a few buddy colours to do. Um, I want to try and, and get them done as much of them as done as I can this week. I know Chelsea said not to, she's not rushing, she's got loads to do. She's so popular, I mean I've been doing it for a long time and I'm not as popular as her. Not that I care, I just do it because I enjoy it, like I say. She's so, she's so honest and approachable and, and people like that and that's what I love about her, she's so brill. So. So it's great, I love watching her videos, I'm always excited when it comes up, I have to watch it as soon as I can. Usually it's not straight away because obviously Jennifer's uh, taking up my time. But I do watch it the same day as it goes up normally. It was nice to see Jen at Reading With Pugs put a video up the other day as well. She hadn't done one for a while so it was nice to see her back. Because I like her as well. She's really good. I'm tired. So. And it's getting very, very, very. It is getting very warm where I am because I use a daylight lamp to help light the paper so you can see better and it is very very warm it does kick off some heat I also use it when I'm fill, um, doing my eBay I use it for when I'm photographing things and it is so flaming bright it is unreal so yeah. Oh. I like this picture. I think he's so cute, isn't he? Fan on in the background trying to keep the heat down a little bit, but it's not really working very much, I'll be honest. I'm reading a set of book by a guy named Stephen Higgs. Um, the Blue Moon Paranormal Investigations Agency or something it's called. It's not bad, it's pretty good. Yeah, ten box set I think I've got. It might be more. I know there's about twenty or twenty one in the, the box set in the in the series. Um yeah, it's really good. But I do really need to start reading these physical books because I got so many of them. And I need the space, so I mean, to be honest, there is a thirty or forty book series up there, uh, so I'm going to try and find book one at some point and read that. And if I like it, I'll, I'll keep and read them. And if I don't, I'll just bin some of them because some of them, to be fair, are falling apart. They're that old. They were given to me by somebody I know. Um, I think they might be missing one or two, uh, but if I yeah, you do, if I enjoy the series, then I'll just find that particular book. And if I don't, I can get rid of them all. I'm not going to worry about it. 
it might not be my kind of thing but I'm, I'm willing to try we must have done 30 minutes I don't know how long we were stopped um, but yeah I'm always trying willing to try and read a, a book and see how it goes I mean I tried to read either The Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit when I was younger and I couldn't get on with it now I'm a lot older now and I'm probably going to try that again I know my brother's got it at home he ain't going to be reading it anytime soon he's in New Zealand I do not need to buy or download another book again if I didn't want to because I could just go and read all of his the only thing is all of his pretty much are either superhero and TV tie-ins which is fine don't have a problem with that or fantasy fiction and again I don't have a problem with it but I don't just want to read that genre but I might try and read The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings trilogy again I couldn't get on with it when I was younger but I might be able to now because I'm more um, you know book orientated um, just swapping the greens out so that I've got some different ones is that the same one that's the one I had before I don't want that one we'll use permanent green olive I think for some of these yeah my doll sharpener is downstairs because that's where I'm colouring the beauty of horror because I'm colouring it in the evenings and uh, I'm using I'm actually using it on the prism colours I know a lot of people say don't use it on the prism prism colours it eats them up but to be honest it doesn't really bother me it doesn't eat them up I've got a full another set as well and I do like the point that they, it does put on them I must admit but um, you can put that on the short point so, if you wanted to. So, after we finish this one, we'll be doing one from... Women with the Girls at Work, I believe. That was the one that Chelsea requested. I think it was that one. If it wasn't, let me know. I can't remember if it was that one or Decades. I got a feeling it was at work. So, we'll do one in that one next. And that probably will be marker based um, with um, pencil overlay, you know, pencil shading on the top. So, yeah. I am going through my markers now, though, unbelievably. Um, skin tones, I keep using them up so quickly. It's unreal. I can't believe we've done 30 minutes already. Still, we'll do another 10 or so. I know you guys like these videos and now you like them long. I know I'm not the world's best colourist, I just enjoy doing it. I love colouring. It's just, I'm so glad I found it as a hobby again. I mean, we did do a bit of colouring when I was at my job at Yale, when it went quiet one of the managers would print off pictures and give us pens and crayons to cut with like we were in school um, and then it was 2016 when I started again uh, I'm glad because I love it it's, it's so much fun I mean I'm not an artist I can't draw to save my life my brothers can both draw really well I can't um, I can sing a bit don't do it very often but I can but you know it's about this is about as arty as I get the colouring book I'm pretty sure the Marilyn fans aren't going to like the beauty of horror Marilyn which is what, what I'm doing but hey it is what it is I love it I love all the pictures in that book. I want to. It's one of the first books where I, I can seriously say I want to colour it all. And there are things I don't know in there, like for instance, the honeymooners. As far as I'm aware, I, I've never seen that. I don't know whether it showed over in the UK or not. I love Lucy. Yes, I, I know that one. Uh, and there's a few others I'm not 100% sure of, but. Pretty much every single picture in there I want to colour. So choosing the first one was really hard. 
even though it is Marilyn. I want to do Liberace. I want to do Elvis. I want to do John Lennon. I want to do the Beatles, Zombie Road. <laughs> even, yeah, it's only John and, and George. I, I want to do Elvis. I really want to do El Einstein. I really, really want to do the Einstein one. It's such a great book. So, unless, you, I mean, obviously, if you're in, not into the gory horror, beautiful horror pictures of Alan Robert, you, you won't like, you won't be into it. But if you like that sort of gory looking stuff, Beautiful Horror 5. The Haunt of Fame. It's absolutely brilliant. You've got Farrah Fawcett Major in there. You've got um, Amy Winehouse. Oops, kick, kick the tripod. You've got Sid and Nancy. It's great. It's great. I think, I mean, I love all the Beauty of Horror books, but this uh, Haunt of Fame and Creature Feature, I think, are my favourites. Even though I still haven't finished my whipping creature feature. Actually, I haven't finished my whipping beauty of horror one either. And that's nearly done. So it's not going to take me long to finish that one. Um, it's not as close as the Marilyn one in five. But that's because that one is a... The one I'm doing in, in one is a, a two-page spread. So it takes a lot longer to do. <laughs> Oh, yeah, warm. So, yeah. Um, this leaf green. Is it leaf green I've got a spare of? I hope it is. Yeah, leaf green. I wanted a spare of a green one that they didn't have in. I've got a feeling it was permanent green, which isn't actually that short. It might have been this one, actually. This light one. I'll have to have a look. I've still got my list somewhere. I love my little doggy. He's so cute. There's still two of her books I've got to get. So. And I will get them at some point. I've got to get Fairy Miracles and Fairy Celebrations. I've got the rest of them now. Until she releases another one, which I hope she does. I mean, the thing is, there are so many colouring books out there and they're constantly releasing new ones. It's like, I will never read all the books in the world that I want to. There's too many. I will never colour in all the books in the world that I want to because there are too many. I mean, I know as Jennifer gets older, it's going to be easy because I can sit with her when, you know, when she's got homework. I can sit with her at the big table and she can do her homework and I can sit there and colour and then I'm there if she needs any assistance with anything as long as it's not mathematics because maths I cannot do to save my life I'll admit that I've never been any good at maths I don't like maths I can't do it you know when I was at school it was ridiculous I mean we'd have a page of a maths or a page of sums adding up my minus multiplication and division long division and I'd get them all wrong except for the long division which is the hardest ones and I'd get them right I mean it was bizarre so who knows? Anyway, you will have to uh, try and do a bit of maths with her and see how it goes. But history, English, anything like that, I, I'll be able to help with. Even biology, I enjoyed biology. I mean, obviously she's only three, so she's not even going to be looking at things like that yet reading and writing and, and and arithmetic as they call it three r's reading writing arithmetic so. 
are these? I don't know what these balls are. Are they seeds? Are they berries? I don't know. Any ideas? Let me know. Is these things here, are they berries, and these here, are they berries? Because I had no. I have no idea. I'm finally updated my accounts. I still got to do my tax return. I've got till the end of January for that. I'll try and do that. I used to do it in October. It's just boring. It's not that it's difficult. It's quite easy. It's just boring. I won't have anything to pay this year because I hardly sold anything last year because of the pandemic. Um, I made a small profit, but it shouldn't take me over the tax wrong. So if you make over a thousand pound profit in a year. Yeah. Um, and I don't. <laughs> I haven't this year either. I could if I pushed it. If I really pushed it, I probably could. But part of me doesn't want to because I don't want to pay the tax. <laughs> and then part of me does want to make money so that it's in an account. Just sitting in an account basically. It's there to buy more goods with or to put towards retirement. You know, when, I, when we get there, it's a long way off yet, obviously. Another 20 years at least. Um, so we are up to 42 minutes now, so that's okay. It's just it takes a long time to um, edit together and then upload. So I'll get it to edit together when I'm work, at work tomorrow. I'll do it first thing in the morning when I get up. So that by the time I finish work and I'm back home after picking up Jennifer, even if I've been to mum's, it'll be ready to start uploading it. I have found if I let the computer go to sleep while it's uploading, it doesn't like that and it stops. It just goes really slow. So I have to keep the computer awake. But I can do some other stuff on there. There's, uh, I can do some more. I get to get my eBay stuff listed and stuff. So, yeah. <sighs> right. We're up here now doing this leaf. We're slowly getting there. I like colouring at night because it's so quiet in the house. Paul's in bed asleep. I don't even know what time it is. It might be getting on for 10, I don't know. Jennifer's in bed asleep. She looks so peaceful. I love looking at her. As we, she has a little nightlight on which projects stars onto the ceiling and that's fine. And she, um, we leave the door open with the outside, the hall light on so that if she wakes up, it's not that dark in there and you know because she does wake up sometimes she gets scared she says she's scared of the cars and I'm like honey well they're not going to come in your room but uh, who knows what she's been dreaming so I'm just going to give her a cuddle when that happens it's only if she's constantly calling me all night that I get frustrated if she wakes up and it and wakes me up in the night I'm like it's all right I'm coming don't worry mommy's coming it's just if she's if I put back and then the next hour she's constantly calling me, I get annoyed and frustrated. But that's it. I mean, obviously, I still look after her and I still cuddle her, but it does get frustrating. But sometimes she just wants a little bit of cuddle. She just wants to know I'm there. I'm, I'm a safe space. I'm a, I'm a safe place, and uh, she knows that I'm a safe place, and she can cuddle me forever. And there's been times I've brought her in here to the spare room even though it's only a single bed and it's very cramped with the two of us in it and I've let her go to sleep there and I have just sat and watched and made sure she's safe it killed me the next day but I don't care as long as she's all right I, I'll get some sleep when I can you know if worse comes to it 
my dad will play with her for an hour and I'll have her sleep at theirs, at my mum and dad's. So. I'm going to do this one leaf and then we'll call it a day because we're at 45 minutes. And then we'll come back, do some more leaves, do some more bells. And then we've got the pears and the butterfly to do. I still pick up that gold one off the floor, <laughs> olive gold or green gold or whatever it's called. Green gold, I think it's called. It's a lovely colour. I love that colour. It's actually one of my favourites. I don't use it much, but I do like that colour. Hopefully, like I said, I'll get some stuff listed. It's really funny with eBay actually thinking about it. As I had a message yesterday from somebody who said, I bought a camera from you and I put batteries in it and I don't, it doesn't work. Now they sent me a message on a camera that I've still got listed. It's not ended, it's not been sold. So I was like, oh, okay, well, uh, which camera was it? Because I test, because he actually said, it, look, it says it's been tested. How did you test it? I said, well, I said, look, which camera was it? Because all cameras are battery and film tested. I tend to run a short roll of film through them just to make sure that it winds on and all that. And I do. Um, especially if the camera's worth more than 20 quid. And this one was about 20 quid. And he sent me a picture of it. And I thought, well, this was like last year. This was like 2020. This was like December 2020. And you've only just put batteries in it. It's September 2021. So I went back and said, oh, okay, yeah, I did test that one with film. Um, and it was working when I shipped it out because I tested it with batteries and, and film. Everything was working fine. Um, is it that you've used it and it stopped working? Or is it that you've only just now put batteries in it? Because I can see this was, uh, you bought this in December 2020. And he went, and then they sent a message back saying, oh, no, it's all good. Sorry, my mistake. I'm like, hmm, scammer. Or they bought a camera similar recently from somebody else and it hasn't worked and they thought it was the one I sold them, but it's not. I don't know. It's very strange anyway. So I thought, there we go. Because if, if it's genuine, I don't, I don't mind giving people a refund and, you know, having an item back and for whatever reason or... Uh, there we go that's all i'm doing for tonight so let's have a quick look so that's it we've done we did the whole the puppy last time and the, the ribbons we've done most of the bells um two to go and i'll when i find the pen and we've done a good amount of the leaves i'm really happy with it i love the way it's turning it out i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have do leave me a comment down below and give it a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe if you don't mind. It really helps the channel if you're a subscriber and if you comment and give it a thumbs up. It promotes it in the rankings and I would appreciate it. And I hope to see you all again uh, in the next one. I promise I won't leave it as long. I'll try and get another one of these colouring chats up using this book. Uh, I'll probably try and film it on Thursday and put it up on Friday or Friday and put it up on Saturday. So it'll be sometime along then. I can't commit to specific days because I know my life doesn't work that way. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.